other friends. So, um, just getting ready to go for work. And uh, did I bring my name tag? Thank God. Um, <laughs> forgot my name tag yesterday. Um, I was gonna make a video last night, but, um, my camera died. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> so, um, I'll just post what I was going to post. And, yeah. So, I work at a gas station. As I think I've said, if I haven't said, then I'm telling you now, I work at a gas station. Um, and I work alone, and so I get some really interesting people. I get some really stupid people. I run into some really weird situations. Like, last night, I'm at work, and um, okay, this might be TMI, I don't really care. Last night I'm at work, and I'm like, shit, because I got my period while I'm at work. And I'm like, fuck! <laughs> It's one thing to get it at work while you, when you work with someone else, like my other job where I could be like, oh, can you hop on cash for a second while I go to the bathroom? At my work, it's like, oh God, oh God, I hope nobody's at the pumps, oh God, oh God. <laughs> and then I, so nobody was, thank God. So I hit the magnetic lock. I put a sign on the door that says, it's like highlighted in orange and blue and it's like huge and it says, um, Sorry, in the restroom, be back in five, pay at the pump is still available. So I get out of the bathroom, this always fucking happens. I get out of the bathroom and there's seven, not seven, that's, there's only eight pumps, but there's like five people who are standing there waiting and like their pumps are flashing and it's beeping and I have one person hitting the like help button. So I'm like, for fuck's sake, so I turn on all their pumps and I open, and I go to talk to the guy, I'm like, yeah, can I help you? He's like, well, well, what the fuck's going on? It's not working. I was like, oh, I just stepped away from the register for a minute. There was a sign on the door. And he was like, oh, well, for fuck's sakes, like, I don't have forever to wait. Like, and I could tell that he didn't realize I could still hear him. And I'm like, fucking idiot. So I turn it off, and I'm sitting in there, and I'm like, oh, God, he's going to have fucking comment when he comes in. And yesterday was one of those days where I wasn't, like, getting torn down by people really easily. I was just kind of in a, like, seriously? Fuck you. <laughs> right? And so he comes in and he's like, so, um, you can just leave the register as he's paying? And I'm like, actually, I got my period and I can't exactly, I can't exactly just let that happen. So I just, like, went to the bathroom for two minutes. I'm sorry if it was an inconvenience for you face goes red he's like oh well I'm sorry I didn't realize I'm like I work alone I don't that's my only option I'm sorry and he's like no no oh no like that might have been a little harsh to like actually go out and say it and sometimes I wouldn't go out and say it but seriously he's gonna criticize me when he doesn't know the kind of job I do like Sorry, you could have put in your, like he paid with a credit card inside, he could have fucking put his credit card into the machine and done it outside. He could have walked around the corner, seen that there was a sign on the door, read the sign on the door, instead of standing there like... People do that all the time when something's not going right. They just step away from the pump, look at me, and go like this. And I'm like... There's a button right next to the pump that's like, having a problem? Can I help you? It's like, you press the button and... I tell you what your problem is, or you tell me what your problem is, and I help you. Um, so then what else happened last night that was, like, worth mentioning? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So just let everyone know, it's illegal to, um, I don't know if it's in all of Canada, just Ontario. I don't know. I don't know the specifics, but it's illegal to leave your pump running and to leave your pump pumping while you're not in the general vicinity of your pump. It has to do with the whole fact that people are spilling gas everywhere and it's like a waste of gas. It's like an environmental thing. It just, it's just stupid, right? In the winter we get it a lot more because people are getting cold and they don't want to hold the pump. They want to put in $90 but they don't want to hold the pump and they don't want to stand outside so they go back in their cars. So this guy last night He's like walking around the car, washing and washing his windows and everything. So I held the pump, cause I do that. And I was talking to a customer, so I couldn't go and be like, "Hey, you need to stand at the thing, right?" So he he leaves. I mean, he walks back around. 
pressing the thing a few times, I unhauled the pump. It starts going again. Walks away again. I'm like, what the hell? So I hauled the pump again. Keeps washing his windows, comes back, and presses the button again. Like, press, mm -hmm. And I'm like, fuck. So I unhauled the pump. Then my customer leaves. And he walks away again. And I'm like, can you not take a fucking hint? So I like go on the thing and I'm like, just to let you know, you can't walk away from the handle while it's pumping gas. And he's like, oh, I'm right fucking here. And I'm like, oh. So he like quickly goes, p takes the handle, it puts it in. He was paying outside. So technically, I guess I'm not really even supposed to be concerned with him, but I am still because if he gets caught doing that, that's a fine for us. Thousand dollar fine for him. Like minimum one thousand dollar fine. I'm trying to help this guy out. And his reaction is like, oh dear, what are you talking about? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I'm like, I'm like, I'm just letting you know because it entails a big fine for you. Gets in his car, drives away. I'm like, for the record, I work at a big gas station. I work at the most popular gas station in Peterborough. <gasps> Fuck, I wasn't gonna say where I live. Fuck, anyway. Um, but I do, I work at the most, <laughs> I work at the most um, popular gas station in the city that I live in. <laughs> and um, we don't need your business. If you're gonna be an asshole to me, if you're gonna be an asshole to other people, one car, I'm not concerned. I have the complete right to tell somebody, okay, I've told you once nicely, I've told you again nicely, I'm telling you right now what you're allowed not to do, uh, not allowed to do, give me attitude, you can leave, you don't have to come back. Like seriously. I once had a guy who, um, <coughs> well I was pumping gas, he like got out of his car and he was like, why'd you park so fucking close, you fucking idiot to me? And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, do customers actually talk like this to each other? Like, that's fucking rude. And I was like, I can understand if I was like parking, covering both pumps, but I wasn't. He could clearly reach. And I was like, what the fuck? So I go inside to pay and I'm like, this guy is just being so fucking rude to me. And he comes in, and my boss is there, and my boss is like, uh, oh, do you, are you at the van over there? The guy's like, yeah. And he's like, uh, I think you should watch your language and your attitude around customers. Because uh, sometimes they're not customers, sometimes they're employees. And he looks at me, and I'm like standing behind the counter, I'm like, and he's like, oh shit, sorry. I'm like, oh, what, a, what, a, what a heartfelt sorry. You know, for the record... I get paid a lot for minimum wage, a lot for compared to other provinces, a lot compared to other places in the world, but I don't get pa paid minimum wage to take people's garbage. I don't get paid minimum wage for people to look down at me and be like, oh, I'm on salary and I make more money than you, therefore you are my bitch and you can do whatever I tell you to, and you can deal with whatever problems I'm having because you are less than me and I am better than you. Doesn't work like that. I don't have to take that shit, and I won't. So, little tip about going to gas stations. Be nice to the GSAs.